Hey everyone, Skillsy Shooter here. Welcome to another driving vlog. Haven't done one in a little while. A little while? Long while. Probably since Christmas. And even then, it was before Christmas last year. So maybe, maybe I've got my videos mixed up. I, uh, I can't quite remember when the last time I did one of these. But anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Um, I was thinking about, uh, well, what I'm up to today. Well, I just dropped off the fiance, ironically, back at where we moved out of, and we hadn't been back to since we moved out last November. So uh, she's back in the hood, back in the hood, checking out a nice new cafe, brunching with the girls. Brunch, it's a wonderful thing. You really should do it more if you don't do it. Probably should watch my speed, shouldn't I? Uh, yes, she's back in the hood. I sort of uh, offered to drive her, which meant no sleeping for me. But it's okay. It's what you do for love. What you do for love. Uh, speaking of love, I was I was in the shower this morning. Strange topic change, but I was thinking about topics for this driving vlog because I knew I'd be. Yeah, alone time on the on the drive back home, and a lot of the topics I thought of started with the letter M: marriage, uh, man cave, Mexico, which is our honeymoon destination. Um, was there one more? I don't think there was any more. But yeah, well, let, let's start at the top. Let's go with marriage. So, I get married in a few weeks' time. Uh, really really excited now that things are you know all the, all the stuff that all the plans that have, have sort of come together you can start to start to see it piecing itself together uh, on the day um, I've got some awesome classic cars uh, that are picking me and the fiance up to take us there it's like a 67 Camaro or something really smick really really cool uh, we had a menu tasting at the at the uh, at the place um, last week, I think it was, and the food's amazing. So, which is always the question mark. If you've ever been to a wedding, it's usually the question mark is, you know, you can have a really nice ceremony and then the food kind of lets you down. But uh, like hand on heart, take it off the steering wheel. Probably just smack the microphone as well. Hand on heart, it's uh, an amazing menu, really, really good and uh, and very tasty. Um, so that, that'll be in a few weeks time um, yeah just all the plans that have come together like I I've done probably 20% and even then that's probably being a little bit um, inflammatory as to how many how much plans uh, or how much of this wedding I'm actually responsible for my fiance's has been incredible um, I turn that notification off. Yeah, she's been amazing. She's, uh, you know, just being able to stay calm, even though she gets a little bit stressed at times, and it's completely understandable. She gets a little bit stressed, but everything from the, you know, the stylist and and all the plans that sort of orbit a wedding that most people don't think about, she's just been right on top of it, and uh, she's been amazing. So if she ever watches this video, thank you in advance and you're amazing and I love you oh, so many feels so many feels um, yeah which then leads to the another M topic which is Mexico I'm going to Mexico for the honeymoon um, I've never been um, it's it sounds like it's one of those places that as soon as you mention the word Mexico people will just jump on that straight away and go oh yeah I've been to Mexico you need to go here you need to go here and, uh, and for the most part, I've, uh, we've followed that advice. Uh, so we're going to a few different places within, within Mexico. I'm gonna uh, go to a couple of islands and spend some days on the islands. And apparently it's turtle uh, hatching season as well. So we're hopefully gonna catch, um, catch some little baby turtles somewhere, which would be cool. Um, and just generally, like it's an all-inclusive uh, resort uh, resorts actually we we're staying in three places um, and yeah literally just decompress because uh, we, we, we're trying to keep our mindset that this isn't a holiday as such it's more of a 
reward for all the stress and all that that you've probably just endured over the course of the months uh, leading up to the wedding kind of thing. So that's how we're trying to think about it. It's like, right, don't don't chock full your, your holiday with all these touristy things. And we'll do some touristy things anyway, but like that's not the primary goal uh, with the honeymoon, obviously. It's just to kick back and... Yeah, click your fingers and then some person will come come a running with a cocktail for for Sophie or a beer for me. So it's all good. It's all good and uh, yeah, very excited about that. Um, what else? What else? What was that the M topic? Yeah, and I guess that leads us to when we do get back from the wedding madness and the home, uh, and the honeymoon and all that. Let me just get over. And that's uh, turning my attention to the house. More specifically, the man cave. Um, got quite a nice little tax return uh, back this year, um, which we'll probably end up using some, well, a lot of it for, for honeymoon spendings and, and various shopping trips because we're going to the States after, after Mexico. Um, oh, yeah, got to catch an NBA game as well. It's only watching Atlanta, but it's still an NBA game. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, so might have potentially have some money, you know, left over when we get back uh, for me to tackle the man cave. Now, I guess I, I still want to have it functioning as a as a garage because it is a garage. Um, I'll put some I'll put some pictures up of what it was, what it did look like when it was empty, and then obviously when we moved in, there's all these boxes and furniture and stuff inside it but um, by the time we end up clearing that out and, and getting to the point where we go right now we can make this a man cave um, what are some cool things that you've seen in other man caves or, or gaming setups that you think that I should include as well now I know my videos don't get a huge amount of traffic anyway so uh, I'm really just talking to camera at this stage but uh be good to get some input and to see if you've seen any uh, cool man caves or, or cool uh, setups that uh, you think I could uh, potentially emulate. Some really cool uh, you know, loft conversions that I've seen and obviously that is kind of dependent on, on how much space you've got to work with but I mean you could fit two, probably two and a half cars in, in, in this garage. Well, we've only got a small car, this is only a little Mazda 2 so we don't have to worry about you know, space-wise, but I'm going to put a home gym in there, I'm going to put, um, you know, a, a couch that we've got left over from the move, so I can just chill if I if I need to, and obviously the big, uh, and the beast of a computer and all my consoles, and and uh, get my green screen set up, because uh, that's currently uh, all boxed up at the moment, along with my lights and all, all my rigs and stuff, so I want to make it more of a production space. Um, so I really do want to um, get more into the, I suppose, the, the design angle as well. Uh, and that's an aspect of my channel that's been like completely neglected as well. I know I said in my intro video ages ago that uh, tutorials and stuff would be would be something that would feature on the channel. There hasn't been one just yet. Uh, I'm more just collating a list of um, designery kind of YouTube things that uh, I think you guys and girls might find useful. So... Um, yeah, I want to make it a, a good production space. I think, I was going to say, I think Funhouse in terms of how much how much space they've got to deal with there and, uh, and what, what they can kind of get away with floor space-wise, but it won't be anything like that. Um, but yeah, it means having to do some construction work and making some walls in the in the man cave. I'm probably just going to do the outer walls, just, uh, just jib rock those up and, and hang some nice art, you know, some, some comic book covers, just uh, oh, and my um, all my statues and collectibles and figurines and, and things like that. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Whether or not it's going to be the first project that I get uh, I get to do when, when when we come back, I don't know because there's plenty of other painting and stuff that uh, um, that needs to be done in the meantime. But I'll I'll make it a video series uh, when I actually do get to dedicate some time to it. So. Stay tuned for that. Um, I don't think there's any M topics. 
I'm near the shops. I need to get uh, wedding shoes. So that's the mission for today. Wedding shoes. This truck driver's about to kill me. Fucking idiot. Yeah, it's fine. Don't indicate. It's all good. Ah, the rage. The rage. Yeah, wedding shoes. Uh, I've actually got to get some t-shirts and shorts and board shorts and, and stuff for a warm climate because as you can see even though it, I don't know how much blue sky you can see on the screen in the, in the rear windscreen uh, but it was nice and now it's turned shit so it's been quite a, a strange mindset to get myself into thinking that I'll be buying board shorts for a nice warm sunny climate which hopefully Mexico will be well there's a little bit of blue up there the smallest bit of blue you've ever seen yeah, uh, what's that? 11 and a half minutes. All right, well, I think that'll pretty much do me for this driving vlog. Uh, I put up a few, a couple of videos lately. Uh, the Rocket League uh, full play, full season Friday. I did a full season. Go check that out. That was pretty funny. Unexpected ending. Damn it. Um, and obviously the Batman series as well. Um, thinking about doing some other stuff with... Uh, potentially Mad Max but I'm so far into the story at the moment that you know I'd had to pretty much go back to the start and I'm not going to do that so maybe I'll uh, I'll do a bit of a, a review potentially we'll see uh, and I'm going hard on Metal Gear at the moment so many M topics my god yeah should we talk about that should we keep it going for a little bit longer alright let's do it uh, yeah Mad Max Mad Max uh, that's an awesome game. Go get that game. That's my five-second review. <laughs> I was going to do a, a more expanded re review. But, uh, no, Mad Max is awesome. Metal Gear Solid. I do need to do an unboxing video, actually, for the Collector's Edition. Um, have I missed my turning? I've missed my turning. I'm going to need to get over. Um, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5 feels like I've been playing that game for ages and I'm, I think last time I checked I was in 5% so it's good to know that I'm still in, still enjoying it after all the hours and that there's still a ton of stuff to go so uh, uh, I'm loving that at the moment um, yeah not much more to say about that actually so many M topics marriage, man cave, Mexico Mad Max, better get sold god it's like episode of Sesame Street. Anyway, that's all for this video. Um, I'll try and keep more of the driving vlogs coming, actually. I do enjoy doing them. It's so free-flowing, and I always worry about not having stuff to talk about yet, clearly. We're 13 minutes in, and I've, you know, well and truly been able to waffle. So, thanks for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. That, 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 that. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And so it gets in your sub box and give the video a like if you enjoy the video. All right, see you soon. Bye. Maybe from Mexico.